Shalom, y'all Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Halayim Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Haraka Kordash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwath that's keeping the faith and the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. Um, This is the book of Matthew. I'm going to just jump straight into it. This is the book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. All right. The Most High chose a certain people on this earth for himself. And in choosing these people, he blessed these people with a tune to sing, a song. And that song is the word of the Most High. All right. But let's go into script. This the book. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. It's a lot. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah chapter thirty-one and verse seven. It says, "For thus saith Yahweh: Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye." Praise ye and say, O Yahweh, save thy people, the remnant of Yasharala. All right. Sing with gladness this word, man. All right. And the word says that a remnant of the most highest people will be saved. Why? Because many are called, but few are chosen. All right. Now, the song that we sing, a lot of people feel as though this is us singing our own tune. That's why when you hear a lot of these pastors try to debate the truth, they say you you interpret it, interpreting the scriptures wrong. They say you're making up a new religion. But in actuality, it's not. It's new because the word of the Most High hasn't been understood, especially the prophecies. All right. Those are mysteries. But the Most High is re has revealed a lot of the mysteries to his people that have been called. But only a select few can understand the mysteries. All right. You can read about that in Ephesians chapter one, um, verse nine through 13. All right. But let's go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. It says, he that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. All right. The words that we're singing, the lyrics to the song, we didn't write. They came from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. But that song has been silent for so long, our people can't recognize the tune. All right. Let's go to the book or well, same book, different chapter. All right, let's go to chapter seven. 
and um, verse 32. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 31. And Yahweh said, or Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation, and to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you. And ye have not danced. We have mourned to you, and ye have not wept. All right. When we bring that word out, man, people don't pay attention at all. They can't hear the lyrics. They can't hear the tune. They can't hear the music. All right. It sounds foreign to them, so they don't dance to it. All right. We express our mourn in this place freely. And we bring our scriptures, you know, to to express it. But our people don't weep with us. All right. Our weeping consists of begging the Father for mercy. And repenting. All right. But they can't understand the song. They cannot understand the grief in the song. And when you can't understand, it's just like listening to a regular worldly song. Certain songs um, evoke certain emotions. If you listen to a song and you don't like it, the emotion that it was meant to spark, it won't. Because you don't like the song. You're not listening to the lyrics. You're not listening to the music. Right? You're paying attention to something else because you do not like the song. But only an elect few like the song. Why? Because many are called, but few are chosen. All right. Now, who are these people that are called? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 48. And verse 12. It says, hearken unto me, Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. That call is Israel. That chosen is the elect. All right? But don't get the big head because you got the understanding of the word. Because it's not you. The Most High blesses certain people with certain intellects to be able to hear him. All right? To be able to understand his word. To know that Yahweh exists and is real. The Most High blessed certain people with faith to be able to see visually see those things that you're hoping for that you get from the word and the most high bless certain individuals to work towards their hope in the midst of whatever alright let's go to the book of John Chapter 15. And let's see. It says, Ye have not chosen me, 
but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whosoever ye shall ask of the uh, salat that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it you now the call like to ask for fame fortune right status so forth and so on but the chosen ask for salvation the chosen ask for redemption the chosen ask to be in good standings with the father many are called but few are chosen All right same book but chapter 10 and I'm going to close out with this, Yahweh Ratazah. Verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. We hear who's singing this song. This is our favorite artist. All right. If you didn't know, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, they are artists, man. They created everything. All of these different things that painters and different artists like to uh, uh, duplicate via brush strokes, right? Pencil strokes, so forth and so on. The Most High and His Son created all of those things naturally, right? The individual that wrote the song that originally sung the song. We hear him. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Just like you follow your favorite artists on YouTube, Spotify, right? We follow our favorite artists everywhere he goes. All right, we love that song, man. We can't get enough of it. All right, verse 28, John 10. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. All right? Because we're speaking about the Most High's chosen. To be chosen means you've been handpicked from the rest to do the father's business man to do the father's work when the world can't understand why you're dancing how you're dancing to the tune that you love listening to it's because many are called but few are chosen Yahweh these precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Harakah Kwadash. Shalom Yashal.